September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Ah, there we are. What is up guys, my name is AR and welcome to Faith. This is a game that's been highly ranked for a very long time. Uh, I found it on Itch.io and I've just been hearing a lot of cool things about this. Apparently it's a volume 2 and a volume 3 demo uh, also, so... Or the chapter 2 and chapter 3 demo. Uh, let's go with a new game. Warning, we'll reset it. I don't have save data, so that's perfectly fine with me. Ah, oh, I love 8-bit games. Oh, bo oh, I can <laughs> stand back. I love 8-bit games. I, j I just love it. Look at this. It's it's simplistic, but it adds that type of horror to everything. What the heck? Okay. Back off, demon. Go away. It's a deer. It's a no, come back, lovely deer. Come back. Oh. Oh god, is this the ring? Ah. Okay, so he. Oh, hi. What did you say? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday party. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. till 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay. I'm going- I don't want to be in the corners just in case more of those creepy crawlies things come. Stand back! I have gold in my hands. And I'm not afraid to use it. Is this gonna be reaction based? Like- <gasps> Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I've played PUBG. I know the action times. Wow. Look at this house. It's locked. Is locked. Can me sneak around back? We've broken in the house before, right? Right? No? No? Did I see movement? I thought out of the corner of my eye I saw movement up in that round window on top. Uh, like right above me. There. Stay back. Maybe that was the movement I saw. Can I go this way? I can. Ooh, El Graviston. Ah, oh, hey, 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 hey. It's my paper. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as. Oh, wait. <clears throat> It has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as an historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I have sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. Any more creepy crawlies? <gasps> Dear, get back here. Let me pet you. No, come back. Don't run away from me. I just want to slap that ass. Are you actually leading me to something? He's gone. That deer was a ghost all along. That ass will never be touched. 
Um. Changing environments. Oh, I don't like that. Hi, dear. Lead me somewhere nice, will you? They're in. Okay, that is creepy. I don't like that. Okay, let's go right here. Uh, what? Oh, jeez. I just don't see it, and then I look in the wrong place, and it just pops up in front of my face. Dear, lead me. The door's locked. What do I do? Where do you have a body of a boy who did what in a car? Is that what you said? What is this? Is that a grave? Public le lecture, not a lecture. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and beast system. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Come around, have some fun. We have cake. We have candy. Do you have candy? I'm not going anywhere. If you dumb, you don't have candy. Maybe that's what the demon things want. They want candy. Uh, are you leading me somewhere? I'm pretty sure if I don't back them off, then I'm the dead. Oh. Well. Okay. Chaos reigns. That dear dead. That dear dead more than dead is dear dead. That's all me say about me that say. That's... Uh... Faza? You mean Mufasa? Why is there water? <laughs> I am one with the water. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Okay. Were they trying to break into the house? That would make sense. Ah, oh, thanks for the note, buddy. Father Garcia, you're hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en, en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Grifford. You're keeping someone... Who am I? That, that's the main... Who is me? This... <gasps> no, come... Back, I want to smack your behind, dear. Oh dear, he ran away. How long did you think it was gonna go until the deer jokes came in, huh? I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm looking for. The door's locked. I'm looking for a <laughs> This tree smells different. I smell a ghost in this tree. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something that she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. God damn it, Karen, you lovely person. You lovely person, Karen. Talking shit behind my back, always. Damn it, Karen. Anything else, like a key for the house so I can get inside? Which is probably, you know, haunted. Dear. You don't see me, dear. No. <laughs> I'm guessing I can just never get close to the deer. That's it. Alright. 
I think it's looping. I'm gonna go right. Surely nothing can attack me from the road. Let's go up from here. Dear, I can't sprint. It's locked. It's locked. I don't know what to do. That deer ran fast. No worry, dear. Maybe I'm not supposed to bother you. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is new. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem occupying their time. Yesterday they came home with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. My brain died for half a second. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. But how do I open the door, though? Why is there no... Paper would answer me that, please. Hi. Where do me go? Hello? Help? Oh, hello. The Martin's house lies off a hundred yards off Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of the gravel. <laughs> what happened there? Trees jut out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It's difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Arrived Father Allred. Good. Seemed to know where he was going. Great name. He suddenly drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. That's not what happens, you loop around the map, trust me, I've tried for like 18 minutes. In the headlights I saw an old shed off the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the, to the lay person. Um, what? Ah, a key. Oh no. I saw you. Aha. I knew it. Ah. No? Okay. That took so long to find that. A simple key. I had to go all the way back down and then just loop again. Now I gotta find the house. That's gonna take another 18 minutes. I'm not joking, it's been 19 minutes now and I've found my first lead to get into the house. Now I need to find the house. <laughs> Let's just go straight up, past the well. Deer, get out of my way. You too, deer, get out of my way. There we go, thanks, deer. Thanks, honey. <laughs> oh! Purple guy? Is this Five Nights at Fred Boys? Oh, I hate it already. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic. In a chair. A basement attic? Why'd the music stop? Perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's not the look a child gives you. Why is it so quiet? Jeez, that is a huge bed. My god. What is that, a triple king size? An emperor size. What's bigger than a king? Oh, there's something following me. Oh, me no like that. Living room. Can't turn the TV on. I don't like how quiet it's gone. Oh! Good! Whoa! Did I see something or... Whoa, okay. Let's go upstairs. Ah, now we can really do some exercising. Get it? Because we're here to exercise a demon, but here's an exercise bike. I don't like how quiet it's gone. Hey, ducky. Another bed. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and spoke in perfect... And in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. This bed look weird. That bed looked like a uh, a chamber from Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, hello. I thought it would be one couldn't do anything, but okay. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time. We have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. <laughs> Are you assuming? Or do you actually know this? Amy didn't seem Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Well, duh. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Or maybe she's a teenager who prefers electronic devices. <laughs> I'm out. No. I I I I hate kids in horror things. Because the kid is usually just a figure, hey, it's Una's Honest down here. <laughs> Kids is literally just a thing sometimes that other, that something worse hides behind. Alright, let's go away. Go away from here. Take a weight with you. Smash anything's head that comes after you. I don't like how quiet it's gone. I don't at all. Oh, I hate this even more. Why is there mannequins? Why is there a rocking horse? I don't like this. I did not mean to do the bed thing. I meant to do the cloth. Thanks for writing. Oh, dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. Quimbambi. <laughs> it's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is said La Muerte, or Saint Death. That's contradictory, but okay. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. We, When we asked him, have you ever prayed? He said, no, but I prayed to San La Muerte. 
He told us about a time where he stayed over at his cousin's house, and they, according to him, they prayed in some of the figures of figures of San Muerte, and the figures made things in the house. Oh, they did it to the figure. Okay, made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God and that God would make him feel scared like that. But in, we invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. What is up with me today? I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Put a C in front of his name. Make it Clayton. From Tarzan. Hang on. I gotta do some laundry. I'm shitting my pants over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate men of queens. Eh. You. You. You, 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 no, none, okay. Oh, yeah, I, what, what's your first thought that something's going on here? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside of Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. Guy, I need to get some to drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ah, oh, who would have thought that exercising is so hard? Every person who started going to gym for the first time. Mm. Maybe I'll actually read things better now. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred laying on his back unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. So is this blood? <gasps> no, what is that? No! Shoe fly, don't bother me, go away now, me no like she, Yeah, what was your first guess? She. Did the water stop running? No. Ah! She's just gonna come out of nowhere at me entire time? Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm gonna play two hand now. She's here, she ain't gonna get nothing from me because I'm gonna get real this ghost. Ghost possession, where are you at, Amy? Amy. Ah, I got you now, Amy. You ain't gonna get me this time, but me gonna be. be. You hear him? You hear? Uh, they're uh, not gonna work on me. The, uh, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You want to watch some TV, Amy? Hmm. Uh, yeah, you want to watch some TV? You came from the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go out of here. You don't need to be here no more. I'm too powerful. I'm not fat, raw red. I'm fat, raw blue. Look at me. I'm blue. Alright, anything following me? Not anymore, it was her, alright. We don't need to worry about nothing. What do we, what do, we do now? Huh? Mary, I heard a door open upstairs. 
Okay, why did my watch vibrate at that same time? I thought something was touching me. We heard a door open up. Is this upstairs or is this downstairs? I can't tell. It's up. Ah, that door open. Coolioso. Spudioso. Before we go up, hold that out. Alright, I'm ready. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Karen. The church might contact you in a few days to tell you that their version to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear from me first. A year ago I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She my superior father with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own I have to go to that house. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are still real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Oh, am I John? Is that me? I prefer all blue. So what? She, that I'm guessing part of that note was... Was covered in blood, is what I was going to say. Amy, how you doing, honey? You know, they call me father all the time, but you can call me daddy. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? No. I have to finish what I started. Oh, I am father all red. She's my priest. Priest. Eat my gold. Is this how I do it? Is this how I win at the game? What are you? Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! No, don't touch me. No! Okay. Ah, oh, what is up with your face? Turn, there we go. Okay, as long as it starts me back here, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Oop. I'm too pro at games. Nope. Oh, look at me, too pro. Oh, oh god damn it. I wanted to go up and down at the same time. I pressed W and S at the same time. It's not what you do in games to move. How long do I keep doing this? Oh, there we go. Oh, what the heck? Oh, boy. I'm good at avoiding. I'm good at avoiding. Uh. Uh. So you can get close enough to die, but you have to get close enough to do the cross thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am so close. I know I'm so close. Okay, when she's in that corner, when she's in the top corners, I can't do anything. Don't know why, but... 
I've got your pattern down. Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah ha ha! No, stay back from me. Did I do it? I think I did. Ah, yes. <laughs> the smell of all things good. Uh, let me hit up the bathroom really quickly. I need to exercise some uh, <clears throat> inner demons, if you know what I mean. Last night was Taco Tuesday. <clears throat> okay. Is that it? Did I do good? I hope so. Kill her. Well, relic. Is that a gun? Hang on, what's in the other rooms? Well, that looks all the same. I'm guessing all the other rooms are the same. Kill her. A dog with one bullet. <laughs> Did I just waste the bullet? Did I just waste the bullet? Where is she? Where'd she go? I I still got quash. Still got quash. Amy, where are you? I'm in the stupid forest again where I get lost pretty easily. Oh, my car. Can we just go? Nope, nope. Was it because I wasted the gun? Was that aim? Don't press anything, it'll go away on its own. There we go. I pressed space to try to skip the text, but it didn't work. It just fired the one bullet that they told me about that was in this gun. What's over here? Oh, this is different. Ah, oh, there's more trees and life growing now. Oh, hey. Hey, Amy. Oh, you... It feels bad. But then again, I don't really care. Cause you was possessed? Hey, the Chaos Rain things is gone. I'm here now. I don't... Well, here's the thing. I don't know if shooting Amy killed the demon. Does that mean the demon's gonna get me here by the car? Oh, no. I did it! I did it! Ending one of five murderer! Excuse me? Police arrest man accused of murdering a missing girl. A New York man is in custody after, after he confessed to the murder of Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. Officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over when questioned Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward was taken to Sterling, to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to a 
to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home in addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach. Amy showed injuries suggesting that she'd been thrown out the window of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face is mutilated in a very brutal manner. Word was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Rest of the article is missing. Was I not even... Was, was I not even... I think I know what the other ending is. What if I shoot the thing that came at me at my car? I don't want to end on murder. Don't want to. Don't want to. I will not. I refuse to end on murder. It's my video. I control what happens. I'm not going to hear it from my friends that I killed Amy now along with the little misfortune dog you know who I'm talking about if you're watching this I'm not I'm not I'm not where's my car where's my car there's my car bring it on yeah that's what I thought yeah, what's up? You got killed by the creators of this game. Good job, buddy. Ah, there we go. I will say of the Lord, he is my this seems like a much better ending already. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. Neither can I, buddy. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Hmm. That seems much- look, even the text is in yellow. Not red. Police, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near the Sterling. Were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling Chupacapra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say in that police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene behind the motorist who had discovered uh, the remains. Had told them that had told them they appeared to be uh, of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that they were remains of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. That's a much better ending. Oh, why am I here again? I don't want to be here, thank you. Escape's not working. You know what this means, don't you? There is no escape. 